Turling's student section always making great plays, and they weren't the only ones. There have been plenty of great plays already, but we can only pick one fastest play of the day presented by Hidden Speed Academy. It started out slow, but Cole Simon buys himself a little bit of time, and he finds Lucas Favalaro open on the sideline. He breaks a pair of tackles, and it's nothing but green grass to the end zone. And that is our fastest play of the night brought to you each and every week by Hidden Speed Academy. Yeah, just a couple more games to get to from tonight. Let's mm -hmm. waste no time and head out to St. Martin Parish where Cecilia hosted St. Martinville. Two teams looking to build off last week's district's win. St. Martinville at Cecilia and uh, Seth, take a look as Tigers kicker Dylan Wilmore staying warm during halftime. 55 yard Very field nice. goal. That would have been good from 65 if he didn't need it. Third quarter, Tigers down when Travian Benjamin refuses to go down. He gets in the touchdown, ties the game at 14. Cecilia would score though to go up seven here, but it's the put away here for the Bulldogs. Landon, Caleb, Caleb Carter, always showing off that team. Yeah, well, you know, when you got it, you show it. That would be the dagger, 28-14 St. Martin. Uh, Cecilia getting the victory. Uh, Cecilia getting the victory. Yep, Livonia hosting Brobridge tonight. We start in the first quarter, Kerry Wells, is going to drop back to pass from under center. He tucks it and runs and checks out the moves. He's going to make a couple defenders miss, and then he is going to be headed into the end zone for the touchdown, and it's going to be him with that first down there. And in this one, Cecilia, or actually it would be Livonia falling to Brobridge, 32 to 30. Now, let's head out to Westlake. The Rams taking on Jennings Bulldogs with the ball. Cole Myers having it, heaving it deep to Davion Madden, and he has some nice yards after catch on this one before falling just short of the end zone. And that would set up this short TD plunge by Zay Levi to make it 20 0. Later on, that Myers to Madden for the hookup again for a beautiful catch downfield. It's going to be Jennings that goes on to crush Westlake 27 to nothing. Very quickly out to Moss Bluff, Acadiana unbeaten, playing Sam Houston, already up 63 to nothing midway through the second quarter. And really, this was all Acadiana tonight. Uh, some injuries not helping Sam Houston, but Acadiana rolling big 70 to nothing, staying undefeated. And that officially is a cap on our Friday night games, but it's not the end of our highlights, Seth. Last night, three Acadiana teams took to the field, including a good one in Elton between Basile and the Indians. And again, we showed you here first last night here on KTC News at 10. Yeah, to Elton, second quarter, Elton trailing 7 0 when Keyshawn Lyons turns the corner. But look out, Mike Carter. He's just coming to your living room. Oh, oh, right into our cameraman. Oh, what a play. You know what? You don't want to see that. Everyone was okay. And that's all that matters. You know, uh, Elton falling in a close one 26, Basile. 28 in this game. So some other scores from last night. Catholic of Point Capi beats Westminster 48 nothing and Highland Baptist beating Hanson 47 to 39. So that's a wrap on the highlight portion. I mean, yes. that's it. It's another very impressive week of, of district really play. It really is. STM coming back to get that victory over um, over Turlings definitely um, showing exactly what we expected out of the game of the week, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. And Acadiana is one excellent ball club. Anytime you beat a team 70 to nothing, you've done I something. I mean, a and lot. what about Rain putting up a basketball score? 85 points? Yeah, that's Are you true. Me? Hey, what? that's all the time we have. They're counting me down. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week.